Today we're doing a foundation review. It's one of my favorite things to review. Is by the brand Pretty Vulgar. They sell it at Sephora. The only thing I ever tried from them was the eyebrow pomade and I was not a fan at all. Recently just purchased this little NARS eyeshadow palette from Sephora and I always look to like redeem points or promo codes and they had this and this is the sample that I got it brings four colors this is the pretty vulgar cool AF lava water foundation I think I'm gonna go here with the shade 12 no filter I will do a swatch of all of them just in case you're curious I can do a full face with this amount the reason why I wanted to get this one is because you know I'm super oily and this one says this full coverage I love full coverage is matte liquid foundation that's cooling lightweight and long wearing for naturally flawless looking skin so it's everything that i like is matte and it's full coverage and it says it's lightweight so hopefully we don't look cakey just take the samples out of here the colors that this brings is two which is the naked truth 12 no filter 43 skin tees and skin candy which is 92 let's say that it's available in 15 shades supposed to cover imperfection and even out your complexion it's supposed to be like skincare too which i love that's why i like like it cosmetics too because you get like skincare benefits at the same time How cute these samples are i love that yeah. i had included another sample of another foundation and i don't know why they didn't send it to me now i don't even remember which one it was but i did not receive it, it as lava water Water delivers antioxidants, minerals, nutrients that keep your skin supple and strong. It's best for normal combination and oily skin types. Detoxifying charcoal powder, cooling, refreshing feel. Wow, that's a lot. Stay to moisturize and prime the face first for a long lasting effect. I always do that with all my foundations. I always prime and moisturize. They do have a primer, a detox and chill lava water foundation primer if you would want to try that. What I love about them is their packaging really, really stands out. If you were to buy the full size of this, it does retail for $39. You get a 1.18 ounce. You really get a 1 ounce in the foundation, you're getting 1.18, so just a little bit more. The first thing I'm going to do is moisturize. I'm going to use this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. So I'm just going to do like one pump of that and put it all over my face. I have very oily skin, but I always moisturize, but always like water-based moisturizer or gel-based. Never like with a lotion, anything heavy. I'm going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this stuff. I also love my Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. Oh my god, that's like my number one. But I haven't repurchased this. So here is the Milk grip primer i'm just gonna place it all over the swatch of this one the 12 no filter lava water foundation watch i don't want to use too much because i want to have enough for my whole face apply this like with my finger and i'm going to start spreading it right now the color looks like it could be a little too light i don't know but i'm gonna use my sponge to blend it out First impressions, I just did half of my face so we can see like the coverage, the color difference. I do think this is a bit too light for me. Usually like a light neutral. If you want to see like all my foundation reviews, like I have a playlist. It's looking really good. I can't like say anything bad about it right now. It's exactly how I would want it to look, okay? It has really good coverage and I'm looking matte but not as drying as like the Kat Von D one that I have like a love-hate relationship with. I reviewed that one. I do the other half of my face. Really liking this. Color is like 
a bit too light for me but i can definitely definitely make it work like with powder and bronzer yeah. i know there would be like a better match so this foundation doesn't really have like a scent to it i just smell a little bit like foundation but nothing like perfume or anything like that the foundation does dry pretty quickly so you have to work quick and i would say like after you go through a certain area don't try to like add more over it because then i can see how it would start Start looking cakey you gotta work quickly put the amount you think you're gonna need and then just like leave it alone I'm trying like to go over some spots and I don't like how that's looking but it really like applied well on my nose not all foundations are able to do that I want to touch it a bit just to see if it feels sticky or anything it does feel not sticky but it doesn't feel like completely set I'll quickly show you the swatches so these are the four that came in the sample and this is the one we used 12 no filter I'll do a fresh swatch next to the one we just used just to see if it oxidizes yeah, it definitely oxidizes. You can see the color difference, so just keep that in mind. This is the same shade. This one is already dried up, and this is the fresh, fresh swatch. I'm going to do the rest of my face so you can see how it looks like with bronzer, with blush, so how the color looks. And I am going to do this tutorial so that will give me enough time to have the foundation on for at least an hour or two hours. And then I'll come back with the finished look so I can give you my final thoughts, how everything blended on top and everything, okay? And how it works for oily skin. Okay, so now I have a full face of makeup and everything blended wonderfully. The foundation didn't lift, it didn't separate, it's not patchy. When I applied my other products, want to quickly show you this is the All Nighter Urban Decay Waterproof Setting Powder. It does have like a bit of a tint is as you can see this is supposed to be translucent but I like to apply this powder when I have a foundation that's a little bit too light for me it does add a little bit of color and then I did go in with the Ciate bronzer I have lots of bronzers that I love but this is just the one that I used and this is in the color Palm Island as you see it's what I contoured with so I can definitely like pull this color off not bad but I don't think it's like the perfect perfect shade I would still wear this because with everything else that I added it's looking fine as you can see how it blended it down my neck if you are dry or you have dry patches anywhere you're not going to like this foundation this is like I would say if you really really enjoy a matte look and you are oily I'm oily and that's why i have to say that i'm really impressed with this foundation i don't see any oils coming through i think if i wouldn't have moisturized then this foundation wouldn't have gone on so smoothly i said you have to work quickly with this foundation it's gonna set and it's gonna stay on your face i would say maybe go with like a setting spray so it can like blend all the powder and the foundation together it will look really nice i like the scandinavia one a lot or the ones from urban decay or maybe like a mario badescu rose water or cucumber spray it's just nice and refreshing bridge is beautiful i think 39 dollars is some price because that's what you pay for all the others urban decay sd lauder all of those higher end foundations so i would say i would purchase this first of all the bottle is so gorgeous i like the skincare benefits as well i don't know how well that works but this is like first impressions i really like that only con that i see right now the color um range is horrific like how are you just gonna have 15 shades and right now i'm looking at sephora i don't even see 15 shades available i'm sure not everybody's gonna tr is gonna be able to find their color i'm not sure what color i really am but this color worked really well for me i can make it work I need to fix the color range in this foundation Some people to buy it they have to be able to match you know and if you want to see more foundation reviews for oily skin definitely check out the playlist that i'll leave in the description or in the comments thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next video bye